desire to change this world that people would know you have personal relationship with you that they would ask you to be to be their Lord and Savior and then that you would do this transformative work from the inside out God we we ask that whether we do that here in Conway or in Belize Mozambique Zambia South Africa wherever you call us to go God we're, we're going to go Arizona to Conway wherever you call us to go Father we'll go but it begins with us having a heart today that will just chase after you and Lord we love you and uh, we ask that the things that are heavy on our hearts today because most every one of us stepped in with something that is consuming our thoughts and so God we, we lay those before you this morning and whether it's something physical or financial something that is a heartfelt need or just um, if it's depression or anything that falls in that realm whether it's a spiritual attack or physical and we ask that you would carry that for us we love you Father we thank you for not only being our God but for being a good God and we pray this in Jesus name and everybody said you guys stand with us please
are every time and that you are faithful to provide what we need. We ask that you would walk with us this week and we pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, are right, you guys may be seated. I want to uh, run over a couple of uh, things before you guys are dismissed today. One is if you're a guest, there's a seat back, there's a card in the seat back in front of you. If you'd fill that out and put it in one of the boxes in the back before you leave, uh, I promise to do two, two things for you. I promise to pray for you this week, and then I promise to send you some information about what's going on at our church. Second thing is we start everything back up. Um, really, we have, you guys know, we for the first three months, hey, there's, how are you guys doing? Okay, good deal. Um, we start everything back up for three months. It was just the worship team and a few of us in here. And then we opened up and we did um, whatever, whatever this is, right? And so we are starting back children's ministry, Bible study, all that kind of stuff next week. So this coming Wednesday night, we'll start college ministry up. The youth ministry has been going, but we start college ministry up. And we start Wednesday night Bible study in the building here. And we will do that uh, Wednesday night Bible study would be at 6, but we'll keep doing it online, the Facebook Live stuff, and then, but we'll do it in person, and then we'll do the college group across the street where the youth group meets. A college group is from 8 to 9.30ish, okay? Um, and then next Sunday, we start children's ministry up. For those who are interested in that, children's ministry, we have a place. For those of you who have babies, there's, there'll be somebody staffed in there, but then right next door to us, we have a whole pre-K ministry area. And then across the street is the uh, kindergarten through third grade, those folks show. Um, that is a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, I get to go over and hang out there during D-group time, and it is so much fun with those kids. They are, um, yeah, I get to learn a whole lot about you all's families is what, is what really happens <laughs> when I go over there. I get to ask some really interesting questions. And so, anyway, it's a lot of fun. Uh, James and Sue do a thing called Club 252 during the message time, and we help get them across the street. And then we go over there and we have D group with them as well. So we start all that D group for everybody next week as, as well on the 13th. And so if you are interested in D group, if you hang out in here next Sunday, a D group is discussion group. And the way we started 10 years ago is that whatever we preach on, we teach on. And so if you're in a group, there is a facilitator that kind of leads questions and talks a little bit of, about stuff. But then it's basically um, dis discussion. And so it is, we have found that people learn better whenever they're able to talk about what they have just heard. And so it's good stuff, okay? We're pretty relationship-driven, pretty based. Uh, Wyatt, thank you very much, dude. It's good stuff, man. I'm extremely proud of you. Uh, don't want everybody to get used to, um, I won't preach. I'll preach just a little bit longer than that, so you guys know. <laughs> Which you did incredible. Maybe the reason you didn't preach as long as I do, because you don't stutter as much as I do. That's, you did good, all right. <laughs> uh, Lord, I, I, Lord, I pray that you would bless Jeff uh, this week. With <laughs> For those of you who didn't hear Jeff, he said, Paul, I love your preaching. You did an amazing job. <laughs> all right. Um, was there anything? Oh, was there anything else? All right, all right, so just for you guys to know to be praying, uh, we are still waiting to meet with the city about the, the property update, about the purchasing a piece of property over there at Gatlin Park. For those of you who don't know, for the last 10 years, we've done all of the ministry we do based out of Gatlin Park. So, come up, coming up in October will be this huge thing we do called Sydney in the Dark. It's kind of a, it's a fall festival. We do it on Halloween night, but we're not celebrating Halloween. We do this fall festival, and there'll be thousands of people come to this thing in the park. And it's an opportunity for us to do ministry in our community. And um, so, for the last 10 years, we've done that. Um, just vacation Bible school. We have a 150 foot slip and slide. We do all this stuff in the park and about this time last year got open, or not quite, got open doors for us to purchase a piece of property that touches that where we could build a church. And so um, but it's been a slow process. We've said from the very beginning we're just going to take a step at a time and we've gone this whole gamut of uh, we're just trusting Jesus is all I know to do, right? We're just taking one step at a time. So that's what it is. You guys keep praying about that. Uh, we met with the city about getting approvals for entrances and that kind of stuff. Um, was it two weeks, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago? So we're supposed to hear something from them this week, okay? So that's how you can be praying. God is faithful is all I can tell you, all right? All right. Uh, make sure, uh, I know it's different because of COVID and all that kind of stuff, but if you don't know, recognize somebody, well, maybe you don't recognize them because of their mask. How, I, I want to ask this. How many of you have, do you know what? 
I'm going to finish this sentence. This is why it takes me longer to preach. I washed my mask for the first time the other day. Oh, wow. now, some of you are clapping like you already know to do that. <laughs> all right, right? Bryson, I know you don't even. All right, anyway, all right. Anyway, because of COVID, I know it's a little bit different, but try to shake hands or elbow bump or something with somebody on the way out, okay? All right, I love you guys. Have a great week. And um, remember, out of all the people I know, you're some of them. God bless you guys. Have a good week.